everybody and welcome back to our channel. My name is Chloe and today I have part three of this super fun YouTube series that I've been doing here on our channel. This series is covering everything that I'm planning on wearing on my upcoming Disney trip with my mom and my sister this spring break. And week by week, I'm going through each of my outfits that I'm planning and what I plan on wearing from the tops, dresses, to the backpacks, to every accessory that I can possibly think of to share with you guys. And this week, the outfit of the day is my Hollywood Studios outfit. And these outfits are in no particular order. They're kind of just in the order that I have solidify the outfit in my head. A couple of the outfits I'm still kind of adjusting and planning so as I decide the outfits that's kind of when I'm sharing them with you. But like I said today's outfit is my Hollywood Studios outfit and for Hollywood Studios I'm planning on doing an Ahsoka bound so I was super lucky and I was able to pick up the Ahsoka ears from shopdisney.com. I'll have to check and see if they're still available. They were available for period of time. They might still be on the website, but I kind of thought maybe I should just make a pair. But when I saw them on the Shop Disney website around the time that I was planning the outfit, I decided, you know what, let me just get the Shop Disney ears and the legit Ahsoka ears. And I think they're going to be super cute. I did get them in the mail. I'll be sharing them. The video has not already gone up. It'll be in my Shop Disney haul that I did, but they are so cute. And I really think they're going to just make the outfit. But speaking of the outfit, so for the clothes that I'm wearing, I was inspired by my friend on Instagram, Universes of Paige, and you should definitely go check out her Instagram. And I think she just started a YouTube channel, which I will link both below, so definitely go check her out. I was so inspired by her outfit she wore when she went in December, and I managed to find these really cute blue jeans on Shein, and they're blue jeans, but they have like a whitewash through them that kind of makes the Ahsoka pattern. I think they're just gonna be perfect for this Disney bound, and I think they'll be super cute for the parks. Could potentially be a little bit warmer, but honestly, I've worn jeans to the parks on warmer days. In, in Florida, you're hot no matter what you're wearing, and sometimes jeans are kind of nice just because skin's not rubbing together, so don't count out jeans or leggings or anything of that sort. So those are the pants that I plan on wearing. And then for my top, I did order this orange crop top from Shein as well. I think it was like $5. And the only thing I don't like about this crop top is that it's a very bright orange, whereas I would prefer a muted orange. That's proving hard to find right now. So at least I have an option and that's what I'm planning on wearing currently. And I think it'll be super cute and it'll just make a perfect Ahsoka bound. As far as Magic Band, I don't have any Star Wars Magic Bands, which I can't believe I don't have like a Baby Yoda one. Maybe that's what I should look and see if I can find like a cream color Baby Yoda Magic Band. Hmm, brains a tingling. Anyway, so I don't have a Star Wars Magic Band currently and I would like to get one. For now, my plan is to just use my cream colored 50th anniversary Cinderella Castle Magic Band. I think it'll be perfect with the bound and the cream color will kind of just tie everything in nicely. But if I do get a Star Wars Magic Band, I think it'll just be the extra touch. Actually, when I went to Disney with my family in August, my brother's girlfriend, Laura, the one day she was like, do you have a Magic Band that matches every single outfit? And I was like, um, maybe. <laughs> so I do like collecting Magic Bands, so we'll have to see if I can find a cream color baby yoda hmm and then my favorite part of any outfit is the bag portion and so i did just get this amazing rebel lounge fly in my latest bippity box which i did put on my wish list because i was planning this outfit and i think it's just gonna look so cute i did think about getting like an ahsoka cosplay lounge fly but i just feel like for something i probably would only use once this Star Wars lounge fly kind of makes more sense to me because it is kind of just like a classy cream color with the gold hardware. And I do see myself using that more for like other Star Wars outfits in the future in Hollywood Studios rather than like an Ahsoka bound that I would really only use the one time. So that's why I went with just a generic Star Wars bag over like a cosplay bag. And I think it's just gonna be a perfect addition to my outfit. And then I think I mentioned in the last week's video, but usually when I go to a park, I like to have a backpack to carry like my fan, a water bottle, like all the things that you need to have in a park, but don't need like accessible immediately in my backpack. And I also like to have like a crossbody or a fanny pack somewhere I can put my phone because I take a million pictures and videos and just my phone's always out, but I like to have a spot that I can quickly put it if I need to take a picture, I need to put away, you know, you know how it is. So for this outfit, I did pick up this super cute 
like $5 fanny pack off of Shein. It has the same quilted pattern that the Star Wars Lounge Fly has, so it kind of matches. Nowhere near as expensive as like a Disney bag or a Disney Lounge Fly, and I think it's just gonna be the perfect fit for that outfit. And I'm just super excited. Let me know down below, do you have any questions about this outfit? I will link as much as I can in the description box below if you're inspired and want to go check out any of the pieces that I showed in today's video. And if you've done a Disney bound before, let me know who your favorite Disney bound that you did was because I'm always inspired to see what people come up with for Disney bounds. It's so cool to see how people interpret different characters in different ways and find different pieces to show you what character they're being without like obviously being the character. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!